Today we are going to see how to register a domain using Microsoft Azure. So for that you just have to go through all services, click on that and here search for domain. You can find app service domain in this search result, click on it then click on add now a new app service domain registration form will open up search for the domain that you want to register let's say it's pydataiq.com and I want to create that in a new resource group it will search for the availability of the domain that you have searched for yeah it is available you can also see that there are various uh, suggested domains you may want to select them if you want but for the time being I'm just selecting with what I want to and uh, I want that to be created in a new resource group I want to name it as uh, PyData RG and I'll fill the contact information. You have to fill all these uh, mandatory fields so that you are mentioning to the domain registrar that you are the authorized owner for this. Yeah, and click on OK. It will validate for the authenticity of this uh, contact information and checks if any fields are missing that are mandatory for a domain to be registered. Yes, the validation is successful and you can optionally opt for a privacy protection and uh, I don't want it as for this uh, domain. Now accept the legal terms, you just have to acknowledge all the terms here and by clicking on accept and click on create. can see that it's created now the deployment is in progress you can just look in for more details out here now you can see the progress the domain is created The DNS zones are created and its registration is accepted by the registrar. And it hardly takes two to three minutes to get your domain registered, and you can have complete access to it. Here you go. 
the domain uh, deployment is completed now click on go to resource and you will have your domain name registered so here you can see the domain status awaiting please see advanced management portal if the domain is being transferred select transfers from the domains drop down we don't have to worry about this as of now and uh, let's explore uh, the app service domain we have hostname bindings and uh, advanced management portal which opens in different uh, website altogether wherein you can access all your registered domains in that portal and control the DNS names and register information like that you can also disable or enable auto renew domain by default it's on ensure that you are aware of the fact if you look at the overview uh, you can see the domain expiration date will be on one year from now which is May 18, 2020 at exact time when it was created a year ago which is today and now you can also manage the DNS records if you want to point out to uh, any particular app that you have in Azure you can just do that you can add record set delete them here you can add a record set suppose you want to have a www record set you can do that here and uh, These are the various name servers that belongs to Azure. Let's go back to App Service Domain. And, uh, you can also cancel the purchase by clicking on Cancel your purchase and uh, receive your full refund. But I don't want to cancel it because this facility will be available as long as the domain status is awaiting once you have registered with the domain for example for this domain you won't see that option I believe oh it's there oh yeah it's, it will be uh, for registered domains uh, that are confirmed uh, you can cancel uh, the domain host names and uh, you won't be uh, given any refund for that so that's all about how you want to uh, register a domain in Azure app service domain thank you